Hello, long time no see from me on the channel, other than the crappy train videos that nobody likes. <laughs> anyway, just to say, I'm still alive. You will be seeing some videos from me soon. We have got Agatha going to a car show and Judith the Rover going to a car show. But for now, another video from Lee, who I have great thanks for, for keeping the channel running for me while I'm dicking about in the van all the time. Cheers, matey. Over to Lee. Now then, welcome back. How are we doing? Good to see you all again. Um, all right, what am I doing today? Um, more work on the white ambassador. As you can see, there she is. Get your chin up. Yeah, she's up on ramps. Um, basically, this is a follow-on from the video I did way back when uh when i did the service and all that and i did point out then there was um i've got a bit of a knocking and a grinding noise on the front also um so that's one of the issues i want to have a look at um now i do know the ball joints are not their best and the steering rack isn't the best um so basically while she's up on ramps at the minute i want to crawl underneath and have a have a look, have a tug around and pull things off, whatever. <laughs> and then maybe I'll have to let it back down and get her jacked up, get the wheels off and we'll have a proper look and see what's going on. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. So here we are underneath the Mighty White. Um, now I've already been underneath here and having a little bit of a poke and prod around. <coughs> now, this is the passenger side um, I think we've got a bit of play in this ball joint here um, or the top one up there uh, so yeah I'm gonna be letting her back down we'll get her up on axle stands I'm gonna pull this wheel off and we're gonna have a look see what's going on um, there are some oil leaks under here uh, <laughs> yeah it is what it is um, there's not too much uh, some of it might have been from when I did the oil change because some does spill out of the oil filter um, this side doesn't feel too bad um, shaking the car around it does feel like there's a bit there is a little bit of play here somewhere and also in the passenger side so uh, let me just pull myself out nice legs right <laughs> So, yes, we're going to get her back off the ramps, I think. Um, I think we're going to get her jacked up on the front, get it, get these wheels pulled off. Um, and obviously, I'm going to have to move the C apostrophe D out of the way. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what we've got going on and uh, take it from there. I went ahead of myself and forgot I was supposed to do some videos. <laughs> okay, right, so wheels off, as you can see, stating the obvious. Um, I have got a little bit of play in these wheel bearings. Um, so they're not gone, but they, they are a little bit wobbly. Um, so I'll... I'll have a go, see if we can tighten that up. I don't think it'll make any difference on these particular bearings because they are uh, uh, just a roller bearing and not a taper roller bearing. Um, I've also got uh, a split uh, gator there. So that's going to need to be addressed. Um, ball job, that track rod end feels okay. It's nice and tight, but yeah but i also want to look at these ball joints as well um like i say i have got a bit of a, a creaky noise going on i want really need to investigate it so first things first and crack this one off get this uh get this ball joint off and have a look see how bad it is obviously if it's uh if i need to get some new boots they are available on ebay actually so if it's a good ball joint um I'll order some new boots and we can get them fitted on, uh, which will be in a, a later video. Uh, so anyway, let's get this off and have a look. 
So I'm going to do this the old fashioned way, which is the wind, wind the nut off to the top of the thread there, uh, just in case I hit it. And basically smack here with an hammer. So bear with, see if I can do this. And there you go, she's dropped. A couple of light taps and she's dropped there, so that's gone back down. So all I need to do now is wind this off the rest of the way and that'll pull off. So that's the boot out the way. There is a little bit of a hole in there. Um, I'll reuse it for the time being, but obviously it's not a permanent fix. Um, but this ball joint feels okay. It's still uh, nice and tightish without binding up and it's well lubricated. So I'll clean this grease out what, what I can get to anyway and I'll uh, put some more grease in there, some clean grease, put the boot back on and we'll bolt this side back, this top one back up. Um, and I think I'll go down to the, have a look at this bottom one because it all feels a little bit sloppy and I can't tell if there's any play in there at the minute. So yeah, hang fire, let me clean this up, bang some new grease in, put the cover back on, bolt it up and we'll start on the bottom one. So that's a good dollop of grease on that top ball joint. Uh, and I've helped out uh, this boot for the time being with a little bit of uh, black RTV jointing compound. Um, as it's not gone all the way around, I thought, sod it, I might as well just reuse that one. Um, and obviously the, the RTV will just help keep any water out. Not there was any in it anyway, um, but it was worth checking. So I'll just pop this boot back on over the top and uh, put a new uh, cable tie around that. So bear with, we'll get this on, we'll get this pump back up and let's have a look at the other side. Um, here's a tip from Wonka. Um, if ever you are putting um, ball joints back on that are obviously old and you're doing the nut up and you find that the ball joint just keeps turning um, because every, all the threads are a little bit stiff. Uh, little tip of the trade, is bung a jack underneath under the bottom ball joint or the track control arm and just take a little bit of the weight basically so you're pressing um, your ball joint into its receptacle and with it being on a taper the, the more you tighten it the tighter it goes and you'll find then you can do the nut up with ease all the way up to its tight right there we go that'll do i'm not going to overdo it because i want to take them off again later on so there you go that's all back up and running down to the bottom one let's have a look so with the bottom one off um the boot removed the boot is in okay pretty good condition so we can reuse that one as well uh the ball joint uh also pretty good to be fair Although there is a, a lack of grease in this one. Um, it's not dry. It's not binding up. Um, and it's still quite tight. It's not flopping around. So there's hardly any play in there at all. So it's, it's not... You know, it's not loose. So safe to say I can reuse this one. And this one is also in good condition. So I think the problem that I'm maybe looking at is obviously wheel bearings and and obviously I need to have a look at this track rod end and obviously replace this gator so um, and I think while I'm at it looking at it I've just turned the steering uh, without the engine running and it's piddled out a little bit of uh, power steer fluid from the pump um, obviously with the pump not turning um, it's obviously got nowhere to feed the uh, excess fluid too normally it just goes through the rack um, but there are a few leaks on it so I think that's where the problem I'm going to be looking at I think some all around here so but I think while I'm at it I'm going to drain that fluid out and put some fresh uh, fluid in there as well another job to the list <laughs> all good fun right so I'm going to grease this up now put the uh, boot back on and uh, cable tie it on, and then we'll put that back on there then and then uh, get to work on these so that's the track rod end off um, and obviously the boot um, 
yep this don't feel bad at all either so mmm interesting this needs to come off anyway because I need to do this gator um, I don't think I'm gonna risk um, what's that um, risk stretching one over that so I think I'll just might as well, might as well just um, just remove that hopefully it'll come off nice and easy just undo this nut and wind this off he said so we'll see what happens so just for basically ease of some security to stop it moving around too much I'm going to put this back in there plop a washer on and just drop the nut back on just a couple of turns and it just stops all this lot moving around it'll give me some leverage so let's uh let's see if this will undo and see if we can wind off the uh track rod in there so you know the old saying of never throw anything away right this is a kit of uh, a steering gator kit that fits a rover 800 of which i've had many and and this is what some of the bits that i kept when i don't know when i sold the car i just didn't realize i still had these anyway measuring the diameters of everything lo and behold it's gonna fit so i don't need to get anything from my stock of princess and ambassador bits i can basically use them hey job done oh i love it when a plan comes together anyway right uh, i forgot to mention leave your lock nut um in position um obviously the gator will stretch over that that's not a problem um basically you leave that in position so that when you put your track rod end back on um and lock it all back up your tracking isn't going to be too far out if anything it, it, it might not have changed so that's why leave them in position although it's nice and stiff nice and tight it, that was just basically slackened off just so i could undo that which come off really really easy much to my surprise um so the track rod is good it stays where you put it it's not floppy um it's relatively nice and tight but obviously there is some grease missing because the gate has been split um so obviously we'll put some more grease in there get it nicely greased up put the new gator on and we're good to go again so i think i'm not sure where this grinding noise is coming from on this suspension i really don't um it could be the other side um so but you know if i can't find anything i can't find anything it's as simple as that it could also be this pivot up the top here um now i know the it could be moving in because there's a bolt that goes through there it bolts in from from the inside of the car underneath the carpet and it bolts through and there's a big 36 mil nut on the end of it uh, which is supposed to be really 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 tight i believe I'll, i will check the manual um because if it's not at the right torque that could be moving and giving me the grinding noise um or it could be possibly too tight and binding up so yeah um but i'm glad i'm doing this because again it's uh it's a little bit of work that obviously needed doing um and it's worth checking all these things out anyway so once i've put all this side back together uh i'll move the car over we'll get the car jacked up the other side and we'll have a look under there as well why not we're doing it so let's just crack on so that's all that back together um all nice and tight now and on um other than that gator there um there was no problem with any of the ball joints which i was quite happy about um so um where the grinding noise is coming from it could be the other side um noise does travel uh so yeah I, no problem i'll get the wheel off the other side and we'll have a look and we'll do exactly the same um now i've already pre-removed the split pin from the hub nut there um i'm just going to knock that cap out from the wheel center there uh put the wheel on 
let her off the jack and I'll uh, just check the uh, torque on this nut. Like I say, I don't think these are adjustable because I think there is um, there is a collar in between, so once they're tight, they're tight. But I just do want to see if it'll nip up, if there is a little bit of wear there, it might nip up, it might not. If not, I'll just order some new wheel bearings and it's uh, another video for later on, isn't it? So, all good. Um, I'm happy with my suspension now, so we're all good there. So, let's get this wheel on, check the torque on that wheel nut, and then I'll start on the other side. Okay, so here you see me round at the driver's side. Um, basically, I've done the same as the passenger side. Um, top and lower ball joints disconnected, removed the boots, greased them all up, no problems there. Um, greased all the boots on the tie rod end. I did notice that the... Um, steering rack gator was beginning to perish um oh, i can't think well i've chucked it away now um it was beginning to perish so and it was very dry of grease in there anyway so while i've got it all off i bunged a new boot on there as well and filled a good decent amount of grease onto the, the steering rack gear now according to the manual back here uh, is a plug that I can remove and screw in a grease nipple and fill it with grease um, so that's what I'm going to do now while I've got the car up I'm actually I might actually put the uh, put the wheel back on and um, I might put it up on ramps again actually uh, it'll just make life a little bit easier I can get under the car better so really I haven't actually found a fault so i don't really know where this grinding and knocking noise is coming from um it could just be that the rack is dry um also reading the manual um it does actually say here uh power steer system uh to be half filled with engine oil up to that chassis number and then duckham schematic after that VIN number um, so I think it's worth checking when I put some fluid back in the system because I said I was going to drain it it's worth checking that I've actually got the right stuff um, it's not something I've done um, it may have been topped up at some point with some transmission fluid but that's as far as it goes so whether it's got the right stuff in there to start with I don't know so that's worth uh, checking by the way, do you like me cup? So back up under there, there's my grease gun there. I have already done the job, but I'll just show you where it is. Just for the sake of doing so. Right under here, all the way under here, under there, up to here. And there you can see, uh, there we are, where are we? Right there is the the plug I removed the plug from there and that is the uh, grease nipple that's now in there so it doesn't actually tell you in the manual how much to use um, so I've basically just give it a good 20 pumps of grease I mean some is better than none um, it's not uh, it's not forced its way out of the gaiters or anything like that so um, I'm confident there'll be enough in now. I mean, obviously, I'll leave the grease nipple in place and then every couple of months or so I can get it up on the ramp and just give it a pump full of grease if if and when it needs it and what have you. Um, so, um, that's the new gaiters on. I'm confident with all the, the ball joints, everything's okay there. So, as far as I'm concerned, under here, we're all good to go. Ah, oh, yeah. Right, so I think next thing I'll uh, get bonnet up. Um, we'll have a look and see if we've got the correct fluid in there. Um, uh, and then I'll take it for a spin around the block just to make sure that the suspension's levelled up. And I'll just check, check the torque on the uh, top pivot bolts. So just checking my VIN number is 114099 so i've got 114 did i say that right yeah 114 
Oh yeah, right, okay. So it's up to VIN number 122. So I have got 114. So I basically need Duckham's Hypergrade in there then. Not power steer fluid. Interesting. Let's get it out. Let's see what's going on. So basically we, there was transmission fluid in there. And there shouldn't have been. Um, so it should have been engine oil in there. Which it now has got. Uh, hope, I don't think it would have done any serious damage i wouldn't have thought but if it has it has if it hasn't it hasn't the system still works so okay don't know how that happened but there you go it it happens um so yeah that's engine oil in there so i'm going to run it round for a, a week or so and then i'll drain it again and do a do a flush and put some more fresh oil in there so i'm not going to bother with a video on that so next thing to do is to get the car off the ramp again uh, take it for a spin get the suspension nice and level and then basically I just want to check the torque on that bolt there and the same on the other side which is down there that is the pivot bolt there for the uh, top suspension arms so I'd like to make just want to make sure that those are correct Basically, I need the car sitting level because if the in its standard position, that's where the bushes are going to pinch at. So they're they're going to be in their natural relaxed state with the car sitting level. So I can undo them, pinch them back up to the correct torque, um, and they're not going to twist and flex when they tighten back up so that then when the car goes over the bump they either go positive or negative type of thing so there we go um yeah let's get her off the off the ramp take her for a spin and just check the torque on them bolts right so she's been for the spin um and straight away she's done that little crack and grind that she normally does um so yeah confident that it wasn't the ball joints um however so I've just slackened off this uh, upper mount, upper upper arm pivot bolt, uh, which was, I wouldn't say it was loose, but it wasn't as tight as what it should have been. So that one has now been tightened up to uh, 120 foot pounds or 163 newton meters. And this one is going to be the same. Um, so if I slacken this off, in right, so if I slacken this off that we really didn't take a lot to undo so there's every possible chance that these have worked loose I mean these have not been um, disturbed at all since having the suspension done um, a couple of years ago now so I'm quite confident this could be it so with that slackened off i'll just give the car a quick bounce bear with me hang on there we go so that's just had a quick bounce so i'm going to now tighten this up um and you'll you'll see when it comes to tighten it up exactly how much more tighter it needs to be uh, uh, come on Wowzers. Oh, jeez. Wow. Just check that. Yeah, there we go. There's 120 foot pounds or 163 newton meters. So, right. We can only uh, suck it and see. Uh, and see how that goes. So, just bear with me. I'm just uh, undoing the uh, torque wrench. Slackening it back off to zero. Job done. Right. Yeah. I think that's that. I've had a good couple of days on the, the Mighty White. She certainly needs a wash now, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah. there's um, Again, there's always something to do. There's always plenty to be getting on with. But, yeah. She certainly needs a wash at the minute. So that brings this one to a close, ladies and gents. Uh, thanks very much for watching, as always. Um, 
catch me again uh, soon. I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'll be messing with one of these, no doubt. Or one of Ricky's. You never know. So, um, as per usual, comment, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you all again soon. Take care of yourselves and each other. Cheerio. Bye.